In November 2021, the Royal Australian Air Force officially retired its McDonnell Douglas FA-18AB Classic Hornet fleet, ending 36 years of service as Australia's frontline fighter jet. The decision to retire the fleet earlier than initially planned sparked discussions among defense analysts, policymakers, and the public, given the Hornets, storied operational history, and the significant investment in their acquisition and upgrades. However, a confluence of strategic, technological, and economic factors drove this early retirement, aligning with Australia's broader defense modernization efforts. The primary driver of the early retirement was the technological obsolescence of the FA-18AB Hornet in the face of rapidly evolving air combat requirements. Acquired in the mid-1980s to replace the aging Dassault Mirage III, the Hornets were designed for a Cold War-era threat environment, excelling in air superiority and ground attack roles. Over their service life, they proved versatile, supporting operations in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria, including 350 combat missions during Operation Falconer in 2003 and 1,937 missions against ISIS under Operation Okra from 2015 to 2017. However, by the 2010s, the Hornet's fourth-generation design struggled to keep pace with advancements in adversary capabilities. Modern fighters such as China's J-20 and Russia's Su-35 boast stealth, advanced sensors, and superior electronic warfare systems, while sophisticated surface-to-air missile systems like the S-400 posed increasing threats. The Hornet upgrade program initiated in 1999, extended the fleet's life by addressing airframe fatigue and upgrading avionics, but these enhancements could not bridge the gap to fifth-generation capabilities. With an average of 4,200 flight hours per aircraft by 2017, and a nominal fatigue life of 6,000 hours, the Hornets were nearing their structural limits, making further upgrades increasingly impractical. The arrival of the Lockheed Martin F-35A Lightning II, a fifth-generation stealth fighter, provided a compelling alternative that accelerated the Hornet's retirement. Australia committed to acquiring 72 F-35As in the early 2000s, with the first aircraft accepted in 2018 and 44 in service by late 2021. The F-35A's advanced stealth, sensor fusion, and networked warfare capabilities offered a generational leap over the Hornet, enabling the Royal Australian Air Force to counter emerging threats in the Indo-Pacific region. Unlike the Hornet, which relied on upgraded but dated systems, the F-35A could penetrate contested airspace, share real-time data with Allied forces, and engage targets with precision. The Royal Australian Air Force's transition to the F-35A was not merely a replacement, but a strategic realignment toward future warfare, where cyber, electronic, and unmanned systems play critical roles. By retiring the Hornets early, the Royal Australian Air Force could redirect personnel, training, and infrastructure toward achieving full operational capability with the F-35A, originally targeted for 2023. The presence of 24 FA-18F Super Hornets and 12 EA-18G Growlers, acquired in 2007 and 2017 respectively, further eased the transition, providing interim air combat and electronic warfare capabilities until the F-35A fleet was fully integrated. Economic considerations also played a significant role in the decision to retire the Hornets ahead of schedule. As the fleet aged, maintenance costs soared, driven by airframe fatigue, corrosion, and the need for specialized repairs. By 2017, the Royal Australian Air Force was outsourcing maintenance to BAE Systems and Boeing Australia to free up personnel for F-35AA integration, but this further increased expenses. The Hornet supply chain, reliant on aging components, became harder to sustain, especially as global operators like the U.S. Navy transitioned to newer platforms. Instead, investing in the F-35A and upgrading the Super Hornet fleet to Block 3 configuration, planned to remain in service until the mid-2030s, offered better long-term value. The early retirement 
also allowed Australia to capitalize on the Hornet's residual value. With 25 sold to Canada in 2017 for its CF-18 fleet, and eight refurbished for museum displays, reducing the financial burden of storage or scrapping. Regional security dynamics in the Indo-Pacific further underscored the urgency of modernizing Australia's air combat capability. The rise of China's military power, including its expanding fleet of advanced fighters and anti-access area denial systems, shifted Australia's defense posture toward deterrence and interoperability with allies like the United States and Japan. The classic Hornet, with its limited stealth and electronic warfare capabilities, was ill-suited to operate in contested environments against such threats. The F-35A, designed for networked operations within alliances like the Quad and AUKUS, positioned Australia to contribute effectively to collective defense efforts. Additionally, the Royal Australian Air Force's exploration of crewed-uncrewed teaming, exemplified by the MQ-28A Ghost Bat, signaled a shift toward integrated systems that the Hornet could not support. Retiring the fleet early ensured that Australia's Air Force remained agile and relevant in a region where technological superiority is paramount. Critics of the early retirement, including some analysts and parliamentarians, argued that the Hornets could have served longer, especially given their successful operational record and the potential to transfer airworthy aircraft to allies like Ukraine. In 2023, discussions about donating 41 Hornets to Kyiv surfaced, but Ukraine prioritized F-16s for logistical reasons, and the deal collapsed. Others criticized the storage of 38 Hornets at Anderson Air Force Base in Guam, reportedly in poor condition, as a waste of assets, with some suggesting they could have been repurposed for adversary training or regional partnerships. However, these arguments overlooked the broader strategic calculus. Prolonging the Hornet's service would have diverted resources from the F-35A program, delayed modernization, and exposed the RAF to capability gaps against peer adversaries. Moreover, U.S. export controls, which govern the Hornet's intellectual property, limited disposal options requiring destruction of unsold aircraft to prevent technology leakage. In conclusion, Australia's early retirement of the FA-18AB Hornet fleet was a pragmatic response to the platform's obsolescence, the transformative capabilities of the F-35A, escalating maintenance costs, and the strategic imperatives of the Indo-Pacific region. While the Hornet served with distinction, Accumulating nearly 408,000 flying hours and supporting critical missions, their retirement in 2021 marked a necessary step toward a future-ready Royal Australian Air Force. By prioritizing fifth-generation technology and interoperability, Australia strengthened its defense posture, ensuring it could meet the challenges of an increasingly complex security environment. The legacy of the Hornet endures in its contributions to Australia's security but its early exit paved the way for a new era of air combat capability.